hi and welcome to Rose Kitchen and Garden. So as you must have read, today we are going to uh, make lal mas. So um, now lal mas is a speciality dish from the region of Rajasthan and that too uh, lal mas is made from a special kind of chili known as Mathania chili. I back in 2017 or 18 I think I had asked my dad to look out for this Mathania chili in the markets of Bombay I thought I'll just easily get it but trust me from Borivli to Churchgate that poor man had been wandering but he couldn't find that chili anywhere then I looked on Amazon and we found only one seller selling this Mathania chili that was Shirish Masale when I ordered it and we also spoke uh, over the phone Shirish and me and he was asking me he was surprised to know that you know someone's ordering for this uh, Mat Mathania chili because it's a dying breed actually not many people even the restaurants claiming that they're making in uh, or they're making authentic lal mas in any other country in any other state I think apart from Rajasthan doesn't use Mathania uh, chilies they may be probably use Kashmiri chili or paprika or something but I think if you're making lal mas you should use Mathania chili it really stores well so you can buy it from Amazon from Shirish Masale get it delivered or when you go to India you can just take it and um, put it in the freeze uh, put it in the refrigerator it stays uh, good for like I myself have these chilies in my fridge for I think past three four to five years now and they're perfectly fine there's no compromise on you have to pack it well but there's no compromise on taste and color and anything else the pungency or anything uh, but there's good news for people living in Singapore I saw these chilies on Lazada so you can just no need to uh, buy and store you can just buy it from Lazada um yeah so the speciality of this chili is of course color which comes from the bat organo or the bat poop that these farmers sprinkle in their farms while growing Mathania chili and tartness this chili has got a slight tartness to it trust me if you make lal mas authentic lal mas with Mathania chili it is going to be finger licking good so um, I would suggest just go follow this recipe to the T just go with the measurements that I have specifically mentioned and uh, you your your lal mas is going to be finger licking good I was surprised myself as as to how I've outdone <laughs> myself in terms of mutton making so yes this recipe is extremely good this recipe has a lot of culture and heritage associated with it so we should try and make it um yeah i hope you enjoy this recipe and on a side note i would like to thank each and every one of you for spreading the word for uh liking this channel and my recipes i can see every day we have subscribers increasing and this channel is growing so thanks a lot everyone i hope you enjoyed this recipe bye so this is the Mathania chili i have taken around 15 of them and I've also taken around seven spicy type of red chilies and I've also taken around four te teaspoons of roasted coriander seeds and I'm going to soak these two chilies plus the coriander seeds in very hot water for half an hour and then I'm going to grind it. So this is two kgs of meat. Now the speciality of this is that and it's necessary that it should be a young tender goat. You see how pink the meat is. So goat or lamb it has to be young and tender because this is not going to be pressure cooked it's going to be slow cooked so it has to be young so it cooks faster then we need three thinly sliced onions so for two kgs meat three thinly sliced onion same three medium size tomatoes thinly sliced then uh, i showed you the mathania chili and the spicy chili so Mathania chili spicy chili I had taken around um, 12 Mathania chilies maybe 12 to 13 and 4 to 5 spicy type red chili so Mathania is for color and the spicy type is for the spice and also I have added 3 teaspoons of coriander seeds I have roasted them and then I soaked it with the chilies in hot water and then I ground them together so this is that paste this is one and a half cup of yogurt we are going to beat it this is three tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste together this is uh, around one cup of mustard oil which is heated to the smoking point and brought down back 
to room temperature these are all the spices that you want to put so here you can this is around uh, 6 to 7 cloves uh, 2 inch cinnamon stick 2 1 to 2 bay leaf 10 to 15 black pepper then 2 teaspoon jeera then there is 1 black cardamom 2 to 3 green cardamom uh, so yeah it's up to you what spices you want to add and then there is some turmeric and salt so let's start the process so here now I've heated the mustard oil, I've added the onions, let the onion go soft. I've added, uh, added all the garam masalas to it and I've added ginger garlic paste and I will fry it till the onions are soft, not brown, soft and all the ginger garlic uh, paste raw smell goes away. After that we'll add the mutton. Now we've added the mutton and we'll sear it from all sides. Now the mutton is nicely seared from all sides. Now I'm going to add the chili paste and the turmeric to this. So here's my chili pastes. This is also around 2 to 3 tablespoons. And then I'm going to add some turmeric. Let me just clear this bowl nicely and add everything into the pot. So yeah. So yes, thank you very much. And uh, that was Maravik helping me by the way. And then add some turmeric powder to this. So previously I was saying and it didn't get recorded that uh, you know uh, like I said this Mathania chili is speciality from one region right Mathania region. The farmers there when they grow this chili they go to the caves and they collect back Ugano. Bat Ugano is bat poop and uh, I so okay let me tell you all that I think that three tablespoons of red chili powder uh, red chili paste that I made is going to be less so I'm going to add some more so maybe we add around yeah we add around three and a half to four tablespoons of red chili paste so now I see the color I add I had to add around five tablespoons of the chili paste that we made uh, now I'm going to add the tomatoes here and I'm going to mix them well. So like I was saying, yes, so the farmers that grow this Mathania chili, they uh, go to the caves, they collect this bat droppings which is called bat ugano and they, they scatter this in their field and that gives the chili its peculiar red color. That's what they say, you know. and. Uh, if you try to grow this chili anywhere else, which I did actually, I tried to grow it in Singapore. So the story goes, uh, I ordered this from Amazon and my son was supposed to bring it back from India after his tour. And as soon as he reached Singapore, I asked him to give me my packet of chilies, which by the way, he didn't have. Because somebody he didn't know stole his, stole his parcel from his kit pack. Now the person who stole it, thought that you know it's a parcel that his grandfather's come and delivered to him must be something special but to his bad luck he found these chilies which were of no good no use to him so he left those chili back in the locker room which my father went and collected from the stadium and that's how I got my chilies back so when I got my chilies back I thought you know to avoid all this hassle next time I should just grow them so I grew this chilies with the seeds they grew the tree the plant sorry the chili plant did grow but you know Singapore's weather is not suitable for this kind of chili this grows in Rajasthan dry area it needs bad Ugano Singapore has unannounced thunderstorms every now and then so the plant grew but you know it had a lot of uh, insects attacking it and it never fruited never and then I also realized if you grow it anywhere else apart from uh, Mathania, away from Mathania, then it's not Mathania chili. So, like me, just order it from Amazon. Don't try growing it anywhere else. So now the tomatoes have been added and uh, nicely mixed. The color is looking good. Now I'm going to cover this and let it like simmer for like 15 minutes. No water is to be added to this. So let me just cover this now. 
cook it. So it's been 15 minutes now after adding the tomatoes and it's left a lot of water. So now uh, let us add some salt to this. I am going to add a uh, little black salt and little non salt. Now black salt because uh, it helps it to cook faster and softer actually. So I've added some black salt, a little bit like maybe one or two teaspoons and then I'm going to add a normal salt as per your taste. Then I'm going to give it a nice mix. Now we are going to add a one and a half cup of beaten yogurt to this. So make sure that the yogurt is beaten and uh, you can either add one cup or one and a half cup completely up to you. So I'm going to give it a nice mix again. So lal mas honestly speaking is no rocket science, not a hard recipe. It's like any other mutton curry. But the only difference is that, of course, again, the matanya chili, and uh, it's it was cooked, you know, in the forests and on a charcoal fire, slowly, on a wooden fire actually, sorry, not charcoal, wooden fire in the forest slowly, and the red color, the chilies of the, uh, the chilies imparted a nice red color to it. So that is it. Now I have mixed the yogurt nicely and now I am going to let it cover and slow cook for as long as it takes for it to cook completely. And I will show you the last step in this entire lal mas making process. So let it slow cook now. So now it's uh, the mutton is nicely cooked. You can see it's falling off the bone. It will take around 40 to 50 minutes or even yeah 40 minutes maximum to cook. But if you want to make the curry thicker like I have done, I have cooked it longer. Now the last step which I mentioned that I will show you is giving the smoke, the dungar. Because traditionally it's cooked on wood fire. So we need the wood fire taste or smell. So we are going to now put the burning charcoal in this bowl. So now here our charcoal is nice and hot. And let me keep this next to me the cover. Okay, then we put uh, some ghee on top and when the smoke starts to release just close the gas and you can let it cook so maybe for 5-10 minutes or the mutton is cooked you can even switch off the gas and let it get the dunga. This is ready. Uh, it's got nice smoky flavor also. Now to finish it, this is what I personally doing, it's not necessary but I am going to add like a little ghee over it, that's it. I hope you like today's recipe and uh, I hope you are going to try this and if you do, please let me know how yours turned out. Thank you for watching, bye. So this is my Rajasthani Thali dal, uh, the bhatis, the churma and the gatte ka pulao, the amras ki kadhi, our lal mas and rajasthani moth ki sabzi with some pulkas.